Hi, everybody. Welcome to the Goots Cast for April 29th, 2020. I am here. Oh, someone's calling me while I'm doing this. I'll pick that up in a second. Not now. <laughs> I am here with Ashley Martins, and we are going to be talking about quarantine and chill. How are you, Ashley Martins? Woo! I am great. Ashley Martins here. Great. How are you, Ray Goots? <laughs> I'm good. I'm loving quarantine because I have an agenda and I'm living in a bubble, according to somebody that I spoke to earlier today. But other than that, I'm good. Not uh, throwing shade or anything. It's fine. Not throwing shade. <laughs> it's just because of my agenda. I would Anyway, um, you know, apparently you're a weirdo if you're happy, if you're content with your life. You have to just be like, well, I want change. Um, yeah. Uh, oh, just, just to give everybody a heads up, because sometimes fans uh, from the show listen to this. If you were a fan of Cassie, we put the Cassie video from 2017 up. Uh, that was a really popular one, but you can look at, watch it for only a dollar because it used to be twenty dollars, but now it's only a dollar to see it. Whoa! I did that because everybody. If you're if you're a creeper and you're trapped at home and you're bored, it's only a dollar. That's nice, right? The Patreon. Congratulations, creepers! You now yeah. have a dollar. Now you can watch Cassie get chloroformed a lot okay um uh, how is and everything's going good on your end you're safe over there yeah as far as i know i'm just pissed that it's like gross outside all the time now yeah, like if i'm gonna be quarantined at home like i might as well like like at least have the weather be nice so i can walk around outside yeah yeah me too um okay but you know what since we are stuck we're gonna talk about some more tv shows that people can watch this week i picked a weird one it's actually really new. It's called Shop Class. It's on Disney Plus. This is our first Disney Plus show, and I picked this show because I wanted something besides Mandalorian. That's the famous Disney Plus exclusive show, and this is exclusive Disney Plus. And I figured this would be somewhat interesting. But Ashley, what did you think of Shop Class? <laughs> interesting. <laughs> <laughs> it was not good. I was. Um, I don't know how you felt about it, but it was boring. I yeah, I wouldn't go out of my way to really watch it again. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna put that right out there. Yeah, me too. It's like reminded me of what was that one like TV channel that was just like dedicated to game shows? It reminded me of something that would be on that channel. But it was like boring. Like it reminded me of something you would see on Home and Garden, but somehow even more boring. Yeah, and like yeah. I see their thought process. Like in my mind, I think Disney was kind of trying to play off of the whole like how like STEM or STEAM is really popular for kids. Like, mm -hmm. you know, the science, technology, engineering, and so forth. But I don't know. Like, maybe it's because the kids don't have, it sounds terrible. Like, those kids didn't have much of a personality. And then, like, the the shop host, teacher. Yeah. Well, oh, you mean, like, the... Um, the shop that the, the adults they were teen with were born to. Oh, yeah, yeah. They were all, like, you know, nerds. The one guy that I'm pretty sure won this episode was, like, a hippie. At least he looked like one. He had, like, the, the one with sword. the beehive. The, the guy who won had a beehive. I like the dudes, and they they were the only ones who had a problem. They were the most interesting contestants, the ones who put the book as the roof. Yeah. That just was just so the audience knows, in the first episode, they build a, uh, what do they call it, a, uh, a portable uh, it's library? It's, like, a little library. I and you believe in the street and, and people in the neighborhood. Do they have that over by you? Yeah, they have, it depends, like, they're popping up here and there, um, but yeah, like, the idea is really cool, it's like, you go in, you, and it's meant for, like, younger kids, but, like, you go in, you take a book, um, and then, like, leave a book, so it's, yeah. like, a free, like, little library throughout the community. Yeah, so, that, that's what you're supposed to be doing, and, um, see, I thought his was cool, and they were the only ones with personality, they, they actually fought a little bit, the kid was like, I don't know why this guy keeps designing stuff, like, they, they were actually yeah. the only ones with conflict. And they got eliminated. And I was like, well, there's no reason to keep watching this show because the only people that were interesting just got thrown off. So Yeah, and then, like, I also was curious about it, too, because the first – or the team that won, they had the beehive that they put in there. It was like, oh, we're sustainable because we have a flower little area. Plus, we also have, like, a little honeycomb for bees. And I'm like – when they were building that, I'm like, okay, I – get it like you want it to be sustainable but like that makes no sense to have little kids near bees yeah i know and then a bee showed up you remember a bee i don't know if they did that on purpose but or if they planted it wait when was but that a, I bee, that. a bee flew into the frame when they were doing the wind test oh my god i can't believe i missed that what the heck yeah a bee flew in the frame and 
I was like, why would, and I think even the host was like, you know, why would you want people to get stung by bees while they're getting a book? Right. Uh, but somehow they won. I don't know how they won. I don't know. I guess because the one guy, like one of the oh, the rock, the rocket ship broke when the wind test. Remember that? The- yeah. Well, I think what happened too was like they had the guy who does like modern architecture, and I think like he was really big in- to their design. Yeah. Also, too, with these little live, well, um, like the people that won had a little like flower bed, and I'm like. These get so low maintenance, like no flower is going to survive there. Yeah. Like people are going to come in, someone's going to either pull it out or like it's just not going to get taken care of. I don't it know. was just more for show, I feel, than actually like. Probably. Something that like people would actually want to, want. I don't know. It was, it was, um, and then like it was just boring watching them build it. Like it wasn't interesting watching them build it. Like right. I didn't really learn anything about like building things no and i thought like, before watching this and when you briefly described it to me last week like i thought it was gonna be like adults like going back in the day like okay like let's see if i remember anything from shop class and yeah that's what i thought and turns out it's like little like peewees like oh they it's basically like it's basically watching a real shop class that's literally what it was and the one part that i thought was really funny was like how the host like clearly doesn't know anything about construction or like shop whatsoever and this host like he's like he was the guy that was the love interest in herbie fully loaded i forget his name the actor uh, justin name. long he's in a lot yeah. of dopey movies yeah 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 and um i just thought it was funny how he was like going around trying to like mess people up and then, like the one little boy was like oh i'm specifically not laughing at his jokes so he doesn't think he's funny i was like oh, this kid's got a personality yeah but damn and yeah, was, he got voted off too. So no, well, that's what you get. You should you laugh at Justin Long's jokes. He's the fucking host, and, and it, he, he's head- a producer. I said he's a producer. Maybe this was his idea. I don't know. I, I just it's such a this is my thing with this show. It's such a boring idea. I don't know why they put on Disney Plus because who's gonna willingly click on this? I, I would. I think they're banking on kids to watch it. Okay. I think that's who their target audience is, because or else why nerdy would the contestants kids. be young? Yeah, nerdy oh, kids. But I would, I just would have put this in the Disney Channel, and like, hopefully, people would watch it just because it's like between the shows that kids watch. I would have put it like on, like, I don't know. That's what I would have done with this show. I don't know why it's on Disney Plus, because it's only on Disney Plus. You can't watch it anywhere else. Really? Yeah. Jeez. Also, too, like, did these kids like make you feel bad about yourself? Like, I low key when these kids were like, "Yeah, well, I want this from my youth group, and I did this in my youth group." I'm like, "Well, geez, okay." Like, I think at 13 years old, I was just sitting down watching Hannah Montana, like, not even worrying about trying to perfect my craft. They did, but they were such nerds. I, I feel like me and my friends would have just made fun of them and told them to go away. Like, you know, <laughs> like shut up, you idiots. Like, you know, and and uh, I like that there's no even there's no money. They do all this work and all they get is like a tool set, like this giant tool yeah. set. Like, what if you have like a shitty small apartment? What are you supposed to do with this tool set? Like, and you see the one kid, the one kid was like, yeah, now I don't have to borrow my dad's tools. And I'm like, congrats. Yeah. Like, I think. <laughs> really low ceiling for what you got to be excited about. Yeah, this was a very, this felt like something that, uh, that came out of the 50s or the 60s. That was supposed oh, to be really? entertaining for kids. I don't know. It just felt very like vanilla. There was no yeah. like. And honestly, like, I guess, like, you know, it can't be, like, the other reality shows, like, 90 Day Fiance. Like, they can't, like, the kids can't start punching the teachers and stuff. But right. it just didn't leave a lot of room for, like, anything exciting. No. And, like, so, so I also got confused, too, because I didn't realize, like, each episode was going to be, like, three whole sets of, like, different groups. Yeah. So then I'm, like, shit, like, I was looking at, like, their scoreboard and everything, and I'm, like, holy moly, like, you have... I've read how many more, like five more of these like preliminary round episodes that I'm like, are you kidding? Like, I can't even build a relationship with these characters now. Or these yeah, they're people. gone, I guess. Those, the whoever won. And I don't, I remember the, the blue team. I don't remember the yellow team. The yellow team won. Spoiler mm-hmm. alert. I know we just ruined everything. Uh, but now like, I'm not going to see that yellow team again for like, because there's eight episodes. I'm assuming like for four or five more episodes, I'm not going to see the yellow team. So what yeah. do I care if the yellow team even wins the whole thing? Like, I barely have got to know them. Exactly. Exactly. And then it's like, at the end of the show, like, what is it? It's the big finale. So what? 
like what if maybe they have to build like, like something like crazy like they have to build a ride at disney world i don't know they had a, that guy who, the guy who designed the rise of disney world he was cool looking he had a lot of tattoos yeah and it seemed like he actually had like a lot of like cool stuff that he could contribute and help the kids out with but i feel like the kids were kind of like meh they kept but going I, back to that nerd with glasses uh, i love that i have glasses uh that really nerdy guy with the white hair he he when he kept hogging like all the comments oh yeah well that's the guy that was into the modern architecture who's the mm -hmm. architect so i think like i said i don't know i just think he was a little bit biased towards the modern architecture that might Why? be true who was the woman I, I forgot where she came from she was an interior designer oh what does she have to do about birdhouse or i houses? have maybe no. they design interior shit next episode i don't know but i'm not gonna find out i say Cor what, what is it? What do we say? Binge it or purge it? I say purge yeah. it. I say purge this too. This was a hardcore purge. Like, I I don't know. D well, maybe if you're younger, perhaps. But even then, like you said, I think it's just super vanilla. Can I just say something? You have a little kid. He's a, he's, a, he's a stupid little nerd. You should punch him first. But after you're done punching him and he's still a nerd, let him watch this show. But then be like, this is, this is not what real men watch. I don't know. Right. <laughs> just bully your children. I don't know. This is... Uh, <laughs> You're gonna be a man? Well, don't watch this show, guys. I'm really it. interested on who's. Let me hold on. You know what? We're gonna do this right now. I'm gonna see if people are tweeting about this at any point because this came out the end of February, so it just finished. Oh, really? Yeah. But it wasn't live or anything. I guess no, they, but like, they put out they put out one episode, a new episode a week. Oh, so maybe like it could have been cool if you were like following it as they were putting it out. But now that every episode's on Disney, I feel like it just. Well, now, well, now it's now I would watch it because it would I would stay fresh in my mind whoever he is. Okay. All uh, right. I Googled the hashtag shop class and it was just one kid going to shop class from some random school. So now I'm going to Google shop class is any plus. Uh, Are you Google it or ask on Twitter? Uh, I'm, I'm looking at Twitter. I'm I, mean, I'm, I mean, I'm looking up on Twitter. I'm sorry. Okay. Oh, uh, wow. Nobody, nobody is tweeting about this show. Um, uh, one, one woman is Lee Lewis. She liked it. Um, ben White. Shop class Disney Plus showing the importance of thinking, collaboration, grit, and questioning. Um, so, Lexi Autumn, five days ago. I'm sorry, but shop class is terrible judging. There, I said it. I agree with her. I'm going to like that. Poor Lexi <laughs> Autumn. Um, okay, so I just Googled it on like Google, Google, and it says shop class reality. On Common Sense Media, it gave it a four out of five, which what? I, that's what I'm saying. And then IMDb gave it a 6.9 out of 10. I don't even think it deserves over a five. Buckleberry Fairy watching shop class. And can I just say Justin Long is the cutest. And she tweeted more. Which one's uh, the host? Yeah. Uh, then she also goes Buckleberry Fairy. Uh, these kids are a fraction of my age and way handier than me. I get excited when I don't fuck up building IKEA furniture. These kids are structural engineers. Oh, are you this... kidding me? Oh, literally, it was their like professors or teachers that cut the stuff. They just said what they wanted. This poor girl only has four followers, but now we're reading her. On this kid looked right into the camera and said he isn't laughing at Justin's jokes because he doesn't want Justin to think he's funny. So that's she, the that's the kid. <laughs> she noticed all your things. So you know what, Buckleberry Fairy, I'm gonna follow you, and now I'm your fifth follower. Isn't that nice? They did that for her. Oh, we should be like, hey, we shout you out on our <laughs> on our podcast. Yeah, she's uh, also love the Twitter handle, Buckleberry Fairy. Buckleberry not, Fairy. Not too shabby. How old do you think this woman is? Like, says they're half their age. So what, like in their thirties? If we got be in her 30s. Yeah, she she tweets a lot for from women with four followers. <laughs> Trying to she, get that following game up. Well, I followed her, so she should be happy with her life. All right. All right. So we, we met Buckleberry Fairy. Uh Ashley, next week we are going to do um we're gonna we're gonna break barriers. We're gonna go back to Netflix. Woo! And we're going to do, I've been hearing a lot about this show. It's called Midnight Gospel. It's an animated show. I'm excited. Is it like an adult animated show? Or is it it's, like an, a it's an adult animated, animated show? show from the guy who did Adventure Time. This oh, is adult. Yeah. Did you like okay. Adventure Time when you were younger? I didn't really watch it, to be honest with you. I like know the characters, but I didn't really 
Did your do, did your sister watch it? Your little sister? I think like we might have seen a couple episodes, but like we weren't really like a big Cartoon Network family. Or um, whatever, because they were on Cartoon Network, I believe. Yeah. What did you watch? What did you guys watch when you were younger? Um, SpongeBob, Jimmy Neutron, um, Fairly Odd Parents. The only thing we really watched on um, Cartoon Network was uh, Total Drama Island. Did you ever watch that? Yeah, um, I I saw it was on the air. I went back when I had cable. I would keep Cartoon Network on because it was like so it was bright and pretty to look at while I did stuff in the living room. Um, and that mm. show was on a couple of times. It's like a reality show, but a cartoon, right? Yeah, and my sisters and I loved that show. We thought it was so funny. No, that was the only thing we really watched on Cartoon Network. Wow, that's, that's kind of racist. Okay. <laughs> well, today's a short episode, but that's because there's really nothing to talk about with shop class. Skip it. Don't watch it. Uh, Literally poor, do not waste your time. Poor it's Buckleberry. Buckleberry. Let Buckleberry watch it, all right? That's all. <laughs> All right, guys, that's the, that's the episode tomorrow. I'm going to be with Jeff Paul. We're going to talk more about comedy and the community and COVID. He's probably going to yell at me because I don't want to risk people's lives to tell jokes uh, like all these other comedians. Uh, Ashley, uh, is your podcast back yet? Or are you still taking a break from it? No, nah, we're still on a hiatus, unfortunately. So, yeah, but once it's back, you guys will be the first to know. Woohoo! And yeah, once um, me and her can film again, I'll be kicking her ass. So that'd be fun, right? Yeah, there we go. There Can't we go. wait. I Can't think. wait. What a, <laughs> how exciting. All right, guys. See you tomorrow with Jeff Paul.